and lost for words. This is an excellent start to a Let's Play. My name is Andy Formal and welcome to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Virtual Console. When you think of the Nintendo 64, what game immediately comes to mind? Is it Mario Kart? Is it Super Mario 64? Is it Lilac Wars? Banjo-Kazooie? No, it's probably Ocarina of Time. <laughs> There's a good reason why this game has been re-released on so many platforms. It came out as a collectible disc on the GameCube, it got a remake on the 3DS, and we're playing on the Wii U's Virtual Console version! So, as you can see, even with this latest iteration of the game that I own, I've <laughs> played it more times than I care to count. I probably play this game at least once a year, or once every two years, but in the past few years I've been playing its altered version, Master Quest, a bit more often. And I've been playing Breath of the Wild a lot, that's been keeping my attention. So why don't we just call ourselves Link this time? Now because I'm playing the Virtual Console version, I'm using a Pro Controller that's hooked up to a Wii Remote, so... The controls are not quite as delicate as I'm used to on the Nintendo 64 or the GameCube. I'll try my best not to exploit save states either. I may use them for some of the mini games. In the meantime though, let's get started. We are Link with only three hearts to our name. Let's go. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon me.
Link, wake up! The Great Deku Tree wants to talk to you! Link, get up! Come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Yoroshikune! The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going, right now! Okay, most basic of controls to start with. The control stick moves Link around. And you can use the A button to roll. Although the button usually says attack. things that I feel like Nintendo games have always been really good with is telling you, well, showing. <laughs> they show, don't tell. Whether it was that introductory cutscene of Navi trying to find her way around or forcing you to use a ladder to get down, usually. The game makes you learn a lot without being just blatantly told to do things. There are quite a few exceptions in this game, but not enough that it detracts from the experience. Anyway, this is Saria, one of our friends. Wow, a fairy! Finally a fairy came to you, Link! That's great news, I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, Link! Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honour to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going, go see the Great Deku Tree! And right away, Navi is with the hey, listen. <laughs> Anytime Navi wants to talk to you, her little icon appears on the top right. You press C up, or in this case, right stick up. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, please come with me. Yes, 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 I'm working on it. In this game, you do not jump on a button press, you jump automatically when you approach a ledge. Alright, who's this shuffling prick? It's Mido, or Mido, or whatever. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man! What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You're not even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... But if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh! Okay, so... If this was any other RPG, what is your first <laughs> train of thought when it comes to getting equipment? You can either mug someone, but I would say that we're lawful good, so let's try the shop instead. Yes, you can use the Z trigger, and Navi will float over things, and you can use that to highlight people. You can talk to people from a distance, you can highlight objects, you can aim when we have projectile weapons. The girl up there will basically explain the finer points of controlling Navi. <laughs> okay, but before we talk to the shopkeeper... Yoink! Yeah, five rupees! The rupee counter down the bottom left, that's the currency of Hyrule. 
Okay, Deku Shield costs 40 rupees, which we don't have. We sell shields, but not swords. Well, I guess I'm out of here. Again, without being explicitly told what to do, the game encourages you to go exploring. The Kokiri Forest here is a nice little safe haven. Now, scrounging up 40 rupees <laughs> might take a while, but... You saw there, there's 5 rupees hidden to the side of the shop counter. If you run across these stepping stones, you get 5 rupees. Hidden behind Mido's house here is another blue rupee. That's worth 5. It would have been really good to know this back in the day <laughs> when we first started playing this game. Because if you don't do that, it can take forever to scrounge up 40 rupees. You can find rupees hidden in the grass, you can break rocks, you can break pottery. All the memes and tropes that you've seen about Link being quite destructive just to get a cheap, a quick buck, it's all true. Now usually I don't approve of stealing from people, not even in Skyrim, but this is Mido's house. I mean look! Look at his house! Oh wait, it does have a bed. <laughs> but what sort of egomaniac has a rug that goes straight from your front door to a podium? Screw that. Let's let's steal his stuff. Recovery heart, yes. We've got three hearts of health up the top left there. As we progress through the game, we will get more. And we will need it. A green rupee is worth one. So, 26 rupees! We're halfway there already! It's sort of a running gag in a lot of the Zelda games that Link is asleep <laughs> whenever the game begins. And even as far as Breath of the Wild on the Switch, that kind of holds true. I mean, he's either asleep at the start or he's been knocked unconscious very early on in the game. I think it's supposed to represent how Link starts off as a kind of humble little kid with no discernible heroic qualities and then blossoms into the hero that we want him to be later. Or maybe I'm just reading too much into this. Anyway, if you pay close enough attention to the map down the bottom right there, you'll see the, the big explosion shape on the top right is evidently the Deku Tree. It's a little hard to see, but if you go into first person view, <laughs> There's your hint there. It's a tree, and it's great. But what about this strange, angular part down the bottom left of the minimap? What do we have here? Hole of Z. Let's go through this small hole. Stand in front of the hole and push the stick towards it. When the action icon shows enter, press A to crawl into the hole. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Okay, bear in mind for a lot of people, this was probably their first like, large-scale 3D game, if they didn't play Super Mario 64. It's often easy to forget that this game was delayed by quite a few months when it first came out. Get some more money there, and... Oh boy! <laughs> um... Yeah, I think physicists would have a problem with the way that boulder behaves. This whole area that we've just sort of jumped through is a training area, where if you need to get used to the, the finer points of the controls, you can practice here. Luckily, these rocks will only take off about... In fact, I think they only take off about a quarter of damage. Oh, nearly! If they hit you, <laughs> but really best not to stick around. The same L button that you can, well, in this game anyway, the same L button that you can use for targeting, which is currently how the Z button is mapped in this, you can also use for making Link face forwards. This is as close as to fluidic camera controls as you'll get. What does this say? Visit the house of the know-it-all brothers to get answers to all your item-related questions. Well, the only question I have is, what's in the box?
We got the thing! You got the Kukiri Swords! You know, I was saying that a lot of Zelda games give you a safe haven to wander around in. <laughs> Not if you've played the older ones, like Zelda 1 or Zelda 2. In Zelda 1, if you don't realise that little black square is a cave, then you could just wander off and die very quickly, very frequently. Yeah. You know, I've heard people have played that game and they've made it all the way to the final boss without getting the sword. That's unbelievable. And yet, completely doable. That game's been around for years and it has a massive fan base. It's... People have taken the time to do these things. Now this kind of blew my mind when it first when I first played it. The subscreens here, you're inside a cube. One of them is the map. This is your quest status. As we progress through the game, this will fill up, trust me. Then we have our equipment. Now, Link has four rows of equipment. You've got sword, the second one is shield, tunic, and boots. Well, we don't want to de-equip these, but let's give Link a sword. And these will be our items. If we had any! <laughs> we'll solve that problem soon enough. Yeah! Wouldn't you just love it if you could cut the grass as part of your chores by doing this? It would be worth it if you found a lot of loose change hiding in there. You can cut signs as well. Oh yeah! Some of these signs do reward you though. Thrust attack signs! To thrust with your sword, press the stick forward while Z targeting and press B. Yeah, let's try this! I said let's try this! Yeah, hey, <laughs> there we go. Every time I play this game, I learn something new. And it was probably by the second or third playthrough that I learned that you could actually get rewards from the signs. <laughs> what does Saria say about Mido blocking us off? What? Mido won't let you go to see the Great Deku Tree? Aw, oh, that bum. I don't know why he's always so mean to everyone. What he said is true, though. The forest. Strange things have been happening here lately. You need to be ready for anything. You'd better find a weapon. You can buy a shield at the shop, but there is only one sword hidden somewhere in the forest. Okay, so that does narrow things down a bit if we were a little bit lost. There is one other area that we can visit just now, but let's not do that right now. <laughs> let's go back and buy a shield. You do feel a, li a little bit ripped off because the shield is basically a piece of wood with paint on it. I could probably craft that in 10 seconds. Well, not me, but Link could. We've got the Deku Shield! Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Again, don't think ill of the game for explaining too much. This was all very new to us. <laughs> oh yeah! Sword and shield! Check me out! You know, you could absolutely base a tabletop RPG in the world of Hyrule. I'm just putting it out there. I would love to know if anybody's tried it. There's no shortage of enemies in quests, that's for sure. Alright, this chump again. If you want to see the great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. 
The only question I have for you, Maido, is... What are those? That would explain a lot. Oh, you just have such a punchable face. You know, I do think about other RPGs like Mass Effect, and you're just left wondering, if they were real RPGs, every single dialogue option would have the option for you to walk away or flat out lie. Whoa! Enemies! When you Z-target an enemy, you can press C up and Navi will tell you a little bit about them. Deku Baba. Though it looks withered, it will hurt you if you touch it. Deku Baba! You die! Yeah! Now let's pick up a Deku Stick. You got a Deku Stick! On the select item subscreen, you can set it to C left, C down, or C right. Or in my case, it's Y or X. What's my C down again? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be R, but that will take us to the menu. Set it to C and swing it with C. When you want to put it away, stand still and press A. You can carry up to 10 sticks, but don't waste them. The Deku sticks are twice as strong as your sword, but they break in one hit. So... Ow. <laughs> so the talking box is correct, you really don't want to waste them. Oh my god, they turned Tom Selleck into a tree! I mean... Hello. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? Yes. Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the Fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use C up to listen well to her words of wisdom. Oh! Okay, is that it? I guess that's us. Now, if you think we're being thrown in the deep end, you're absolutely right. This is our first dungeon. It'll be inside the Deku Tree. So, we're gonna leave that for next time, but first... I've got to equip my stick! You can effectively, in combat, wield the Deku Stick, as you would your swords. But the Deku Stick has other uses too, and we'll cover them as we go. For now though, my name is Andy Formal, and this is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'll see you inside the Deku Tree.